They're kicking off a delicious recipe in the kitchen. We're kicking off a recipe. Yes. Kicking it. We're kicking so, off the show with a recipe, everybody. <laughs> you're looking for a quick yeah. meal uh -huh. that you can make on a busy school night. Parents, you're going to love this dish. And here to make sense of this whole thing, because we need a lot of it, uh, we have Cindy Marberry, uh, the author of The Paleo Italian Cooking. Thank you for coming. Oh, it's always a pleasure to be here. And it is hump day, and you know this is the best day to get fish. Is it? Best day to get oh, fish. Oh, because Tuesdays they all come in, Come right? in, yeah. So okay. this is a great recipe. And this is so quick. You can make this within 15 minutes. Really? Quick, quick dish. And, and I don't know much about fish, but you said this is a really good trick for people that don't see, like fish. tilapia is a very mild fish, and it takes on the flavors of whatever you give it. So it doesn't already have a flavor to it. It's pretty mm -hmm. mild. So my nieces love it with little garlic and olive oil, simple. My granddaughter thinks this is chicken. Oh, where really? are we going to make it? I hope she she's not thinks, watching the show. She's only nine, so oh, she's good. Um, probably not watching it. Yeah, watch something else right now. <laughs> it's the only time I'll ever say that. So this is a great recipe, and usually I'm making Italian dishes, so this is kind of out of my comfort zone a little bit because we're going to be using some Indian spices, but the kids just love this dish. So we're going to start cooking. Well, All we right. hear about how healthy fish is, and so we want to get it into our diets and our, into our kids' diets, especially young, so this is a good way to sneak it, or if you're an adult that doesn't like this fish. Is and this is a very Delicious. inexpensive fish as well. It's Great. You can buy a lot for um, not a lot of money. So I have my pan heating here. I'm just going to add in some olive oil. So what I'm going to do now is just add in some onions and garlic. While I do that, now what I did for this dish is I had two tilapia fillets. And I just cut them up because we're going to cook them cut up and they cook a lot faster. So we just need to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. So if Ashley, if you want to do that for me, well I add got in it. the onions. And you can omit the onions if you don't like them. But the kids don't really even know they're in there because I diced them up so small. And it adds a lot of flavor. It adds a lot of yeah. great flavor. So do you buy this fish frozen? No, I bought it fresh oh, okay. at the fish market. But you can buy it frozen, whatever, whatever you'd like. If okay. people are looking for deals, what's similar to tilapia that people might see at their market? So you know, you haddock, might get some haddock. Oh, okay. um, cod would be a good fish. That cooks fast as well. So, okay, <laughs> so a thin white fish. Thin white fish. Okay. So now I'm going to add in some tomato paste. And that's just going to give it some nice, deep texture. Okay. With the tomato paste, I'm also going to add in some coconut milk. Coconut milk. Okay. Which is going to give it some great flavor. So, you so already, this is so nice and healthy for us. Yes, it is. Okay. okay. So now our spices. We have coriander, cardamom, some chili powder. We're going to add that in this. Those are all of our Indian-type spices here. That is just going to give it so much flavor. And okay. color, too. And yeah. color. Wait to see this color we get here. So now, actually, if you want, we can start adding in the fish. Is this enough uh, salt and pepper? That's plenty of salt and pepper. Okay. So we're just going to add the fish right in there. Now, while I do that, I like to add in the leaves from the celery. It adds so much more flavor. Really? I know. Believe it or not. So I'm going to add that right into my pan here. Right. Okay. Now we'll throw that right in there. Oh well, we'll cut it up in little pieces. Oh, cut it up. Here you go. We'll I'll give you the pieces. You cut them up. I don't know if it was like <laughs> like bay leaf esque, where you you know. I'm just going to add a little bit more olive oil. Take it right out. Here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so all I need to do, we can add that in there, and all I need is 12 that's good, that's minutes. Good. 12 minutes. Now, that's perfect. And then what, Seth, what you can do after is yes. dice up some of that celery because we're going to garnish it with that. Oh, there you Ooh. go. Okay. So here we go. Is this too much? That's, that's fine. Add that right in there. So this takes literally 12 minutes wow. to make this recipe. Well, this then, is, is this a perfect time to take a little break? No, because I just want to do a quick... Sorry, a quick no, to don't show you, you what apologize. this looks Keep like. On going, oh, yeah. This is what it looks like. That's the finish. Oh, this man. Beautiful. Now, right before the end, right when it's done, you add in some butter. And that's what gives it that it better, better butter, butter. butter recipe. So look at this. We can put it right in front of you, Seth. Okay. And then add some of those chopped celery. And this is a great dinner. Like I said, oh, you 12 add like minutes. You add it right on top so you get that crunch. And the kids love the celery. The, oh, I'm, the tilapia. I'm about this. I mean, this recipe is so easy, so delicious, and when you take a bite, you'll think you're eating chicken. Now, question for you, Cindy: the the fish that we're looking at right here, as you're cooking it, do mm -hmm. you have to flip the fish at all? You know, you don't really want to handle it too much because it is so delicate. So okay. if you start handling it, it, it could fall apart. So you really don't have to do anything. Maybe just move it around. You don't have to flip it; it'll cook right in the juices, right in this pan. You don't oh. have to do anything for 12 minutes. Add the butter, and this is what you get. Talk this about beautiful, easy. beautiful I wanna, dish. I want to eat this so badly right now. Huh. <laughs> what a but great recipe. We can't. We're back in the kitchen with Cindy Barberi from Cindy'sTable.com. Earlier we made tilapia. Now we're making a delicious side to go with it. We know it's delicious because we snuck a bite. I saw I you. I saw some in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so good. What are we making? We are making root vegetable chips. I mean, what a great way to get our kids to eat vegetables. 
and we can add any flavor we want to them. And we're gonna, we have sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, golden beets, red beets, parsnips. They make the best chips. And all we do is we get the oven preheated at 375. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, you, know, you know what's funny? This is one of those situations. I'm not a parent, Ash. You can probably speak to this. But if you get home and you say, hey, kids, you in the mood for a parsnip? You're going to get a whole lot of no's. But if you hide it in there, chip it up real nice. So good. Yeah. Absolutely. Very cool. So what I did was I started peeling some for you so you don't have to do all the work. So a sweet potato, mandolin. Very easy tool. If you don't have a mandolin, you could use the disc in your food processor. You could use a nice sharp knife. But what we want to do is get it nice and thin. So if you just want to start slicing on the, on the I'm so the mandolin. Do I have to cut this in No, half? Just, just start working. Just go really? like that. Just go to town. Yeah, it takes a few seconds. Okay. Oh, and I'm a lefty, so. Oh, that's so, right. That's okay. why. So, you know, we're just going to peel it. We have the beets. We have golden beets right now all over the place. You can add all these great vegetables. Now, if you're making them for kids, you can actually add some cinnamon on them. Ooh. And that'll definitely get them to eat it. For me, too. Um, I like to add onion powder, cayenne pepper, some all seasoning flavors. So you can add any flavor. They're so great. So as we do that, what I like to do is just put them in the bowl. Okay, here, let's try a beet. It, yeah, let's try, let's try a beet. A beet. Look okay. at that color. So what I do is put them all in the bowl, and then we'll, we'll coat it with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and that's it, unless we want to add in some extra seasoning. So I have a question for you. Yes. You peeled them. I did what peel. What if um, you don't peel them? Well, with have the you beet, you definitely want to peel it because um, I think it might be a little rough around the edge, but I'm not really sure because I always peel it. You the always potatoes, do. potatoes, you don't really it's need to good. peel it it's because <laughs> you can definitely eat the skin. And the same thing with the parsnip. You know, many will say there's so much nutrition yeah. on the skin, on the parsnip, or if you okay. do carrot. So it's really your choice. Um, I like to peel them. It's more just if I'm in a pinch and I really want root vegetable chips, and I can just do it without having to peel them. Right. Okay. But so the you beet don't have to, to. Yeah, you definitely want to uh, peel the beet. Okay. So I like to put it in a big bowl, coat it with olive oil, salt, and pepper. A nice even layer. Okay. If you're like me and you want an easy cleanup, I like to add some parchment paper at the bottom. Then mm -hmm. all we need to do is toss it away. Oh, it already smells so you good. You want to put it in Tell the oven way. for. That's good. That's good. It's a little salt and pepper. And then we'll just give it a quick toss here. I got a fork here. So. A little olive oil, salt, and pepper. pepper. That is so That's easy. That's it. And if you want to add in, you know, we have onion powder here, whatever you want to add. Single layer in your pan okay. there. About, set your oven for about 11 minutes. Flip over once. In about 10 or 12 more minutes, you definitely want to cook them until they get nice and crispy. And this I is what they look like when they come out of the oven. I mean, I know you guys tested oh, them wow. earlier, but I the parsnips are my favorite. The sweet potatoes, the, pale, the potatoes, mm. the beets come out just so perfect. So this is definitely a great way to get your kids to mm -hmm. enjoy healthy vegetables as a snack. They'll think they're eating wow. potato chips. Well, and it is a great way even for adults if you're looking for something to go with your, your burger or whatever it is and you don't want fries or chips, it's healthy. Oh, I make these all the time. We're living at our lake house for the summer, and my husband is like, can you make those potato chips again? <laughs> and I made parsnips the other night, and he ate all of them before I can get to the table. So they're so good. That's we just love funny. them, and I love adding, you know, different seasonings to it mm -hmm. to go with your dinner. Mm -hmm. So they're great. They're easy and healthy for you. And in case people missed it earlier, not only do we make this, we made this amazing fish dish, better butter fish, right? Yes, the better butter tilapia, which... You guys were tasting that earlier, and that was just so great. And it's a great fake out for your kids to eat healthy, where they could, they might think they're eating chicken. Yes, that's, that's awesome, and if also for me too. So I'm gonna keep eating these chips. Yeah, Thank you say. so much. Oh, my Cindy. pleasure to be Always here. Always lovely to have you for Thank a copy you. of the recipe for better butter tilapia and root vegetable chips. Visit us online, mymassappeal.com.